Welcome to Philly Feud. I'm your referee of today's matchup. Let's meet our competition. Here is Team Blue. We are success schools and we win everything. Philadelphia is known to be a tough city. Let's meet Team Red. Hi, we're the pick you ups from the pediatric intensive care unit from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. We've met each other 35 years ago and we are all about friendship. Yeah! Yeah! We're in search for a team that knows the most about Philly. Philly Feud is brought to you by Miller Lite from the Miller Brewing Company. It's Miller time. And Chickies and Pete's, the number one sports bar in America, the home of fan-friendly fun and famous food. Visit chickiesandpeets.com for locations. And now let's welcome our ringmaster, Mike Missinelli. Welcome everybody to the Philly Feud right here live from Play 2, Chickies and Pete's. Let's hear it for our referee Sigourney. Sigourney, you're looking lovely, look at her. She's in that referee uniform. She got the whistle, she's gonna blow that whistle uh, a little later, folks. Welcome to the Philly Feud. Today, we test the knowledge of two very intellectual groups. We've got a team of teachers, success schools, versus a team of nurses, the pick-you-ups. They started working together at CHOP 30 years ago, these gals. Let's see who knows more about Philly. Here are the rules. The teams will face off in four rounds, two involving poll questions given to people in the Philly area, and two based on lists from accredited sources, such as Philly, visitphilly.com, and we've gathered the top seven items for each question. One person from each team will come up at the beginning of each round. First contestant to buzz in will have a chance to fill out the board. Correct answers are worth 10 points. Incorrect answers gives your opponent a shot at the top seven. And we'll go back and forth with each incorrect response until all team members make an attempt or until the board is filled. All right, Sigourney, you have a, uh, a pregame prediction for who's going to win this tilt tonight? I don't know. I think the ladies are sounding like they're ready to go. So let's see what they got. All right, let's bring up our captains. From the blue corner, we have Brett of Team Success. And on the red side, we have Margaret representing uh, the pick you ups. And uh, boy, Margaret, you're hot. First question that we have, all right? We polled many people in the Philadelphia area. The question is where does a Philadelphian go for a weekend getaway? All right, that's Brett. Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Show me Atlantic City. Uh, the shore, that's number one. All right, Brett, you have control of the board. Where does a Philadelphian go for a weekend getaway? The Pocono Mountains. The Pocono Mountains. Show me the Pocono Mountains. Number two answer on the board. All right, Brett, you're rolling good here. Brett, where does a Philadelphian go for a weekend getaway? New York City. New York City, why not? Take the train, take the Amtrak, you sell it. Yes, number three on the board. New York City is correct. All right, Ouch. Brett, you've got four left. Ouch. Can those things get out anymore? I mean, for correct. All right, Brett, go ahead. Outer Banks. The Outer Banks. For a weekend getaway, just want to travel down to the Outer Banks, a 15-hour drive for a weekend getaway? <laughs> uh, no, that's not on the list. That shocks me that that's not on the list. All right, Brett, you're out. The Baltimore Harbor. The Baltimore Harbor. Show me Baltimore Harbor. Yes, number four on the board. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Another train trip. Show me Washington, D.C. Yeah, that's yeah. on the board. That is the fifth answer. We have two answers left for you, Margaret. Delaware. Delaware. Beaches. Delaware Beaches. Yes. Oh, that's a very good answer. Delaware Beach, Rehoboth, and all that stuff? Yeah. No, that's not on the list. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, Santa City. Center City. Yeah. Going to Center City. Steve, show me Center City. That's incorrect. Sorry about that. All right, let's get our next pick you up up here. Well, Michael. Uh, Vir Vir Virginia Vir Beach is for lovers. Vir <laughs> that, that was an answer. You, you kissed me because you went, it was like a video type of thing. Uh, 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 I'm all flustered. Virginia. Uh, Virginia. Incorrect. Oh! What do you got, Mike? I'm not going to kiss you. But, uh, <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> but, uh, Sugar House. 
Sugar House. Yeah. The, the casino, no, but show me casino. No, that's not on the list. All righty. All right, we move to Rosetta. All right, Rosetta, do you have the answer? Last chance. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I got this, Mike. What do you got? Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts for the weekend. I'm pretty sure you didn't get it. Sorry about that. All right, the two remaining answers on the board. New Hope. Of course, you wrap up the New Hope. You know, you go antique, you know, whatever they do in New Hope, and then you go Lancaster, PA. You go for the smorgasbords. You got good food down there, shoot by pie and all that stuff. All righty, we have our first round over. Sigourney, what do we have for a score here? The Pick You Ups have 20 points on the board, but the Success Schools have 30 points on the board, so they're in the lead. All right, the Success Schools, 30. The Pick You Ups, 20. We're coming back with round two. Don't go away. The Philly Feud right here. Play two, Chickies and Pizza South Philly. Back after this. Welcome back to the Philly Feud. If you want to try out a cover with taping of the show, you visit Philly Feud. That's P H I L L Y P H E U D dot com. Sigourney, update us on the score. The Picky Ups have 20 points on the board, while the gentlemen on the Success Schools team have 30 points on the board. All righty, so it's 30 to 20. And now let's introduce our two teams playing the Philly Feud here. Let's start with Team Blue, the guys to my right, all dapper. The captain is Brett Wade, a former mixed martial artist. Brett, welcome. Thank you, Mike. Are you going to kick my butt after this show if Not you don't a win? Chance. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> the man to his right, his name is Terrence Woodstock. He's from Jamaica, and he loves to watch football. Yes, sir. <laughs> Love it. Eagles. Good job. And of course, Terrence came here from Yasger's farm tonight. Ba Boom! See what I did there? <laughs> the man to his right is Steve Lavelle. He loves to read about medieval history. And you're, that's too deep for this show, Steve. Yeah. And man to his right, of course, is Michael Esposito, the big man. He loves love songs, and he's from, and he's from New York. What do you mean the love songs? What's your favorite love song? Do you really want to hurt me? <laughs> do you really want to make me cry? Thank you. Mike, I got news for you. I think you just hurt me. <laughs> Let's move over to Team Red, the pick you ups. And we have our captain, Margaret Souders, a former second degree black belt. They, they let you do karate in that outfit there? Or, uh, uh, that move to her left. Mary Bury, she's single and just moved into her own place. Uh oh, Mary. <laughs> Mary. Let's move to her left, and it's Pam Boone. She loves to host hot tub parties oh, at her yeah. house. <laughs> and finally, Rosetta Chiavacci. Yes. Yeah, Rosetta. Just like the stone, Mike. Just like the stone. Beautiful. Her friends think she's funny, and she loves the golf. What's your handicap there, Rosetta? Well, my handicap right now is a three. You know what my handicap is? What? Playing golf itself is, is a handicap for me. So let's bring up our second round contestants from the Pick You Ups. It's Mary and from Team Success. Let's go to Terrence. All right, Terrence. All right, you guys, you know what the, what the rules are. I give you a question. The first one to punch in controls the board. Question two, we polled many people in the Delaware Valley for seven answers to this question. Name your favorite college mascot in Philadelphia. All right, that's Mary. Temple Owls. The Temple Owls, a favorite mascot. Number one answer. Oh, Mary. How about the Sal Explorers? The Sal Explorers. Number two on the board. That's because they just had a good NCAA tournament run, I'm guessing. All right, the name, name your favorite college mascot in Philadelphia, Mary. How about the Villanova Wildcats? Villanova Wildcats, of course. The Wildcats, oh, but they're fourth on the list. They're number four. The Penn Quakers? The Penn Quakers. You're just going to go down the list, aren't you? Yes, the Penn Quakers are number five. Um, the St. Joe's, what are they? Oh, um, you don't know the mascot name? Uh, well, hang on. The St. Joe's. Um. Oh, sorry, Mary. Uh, uh, St. Joe's Hawks. The St. Joseph's Hawks. Yeah, the Hawks. Number three. Oh, they're ahead of the Villanova Wildcats. You know how many voters we have from St. Joe's in that one. All right, uh, Terrence. Favorite college mascot in Philadelphia? How about, uh... You're out. Sorry, Terrence. All right, we move over to Pam. Your favorite college mascot in Philadelphia, Pam? Um, Drexel Dragons? The Drexel Dragons, of course. Drexel Dragons. Number six on the board, Drexel Dragon. We got one left on the board. Whoa. Ah, sorry, Pam, you're out. All right, let's move over to Steve. All right, Steve, there's one answer left. 
Name your favorite college mascot in Philadelphia. I have no clue. No clue is not on the list. Sorry. Let's move over to Rosetta. Rosetta, what do you have? Mike, I'm like, I'm like saying a prayer. I'm digging deep here. Widener Pride. The Widener Pride. Is that their nickname? Yeah. It's not on the list. Sorry about that. All right, let's move over to Michael. All right, Michael. Uh, Lafayette Patriots. The Lafayette Patriots. Lafayette Patriots. Where's Lafayette? Is Lafayette where? Is that in Fishtown? Could, Lafayette, uh, no, I'm, the Lafayette Patriots, not on the list, and it's the Leopards, by the way. That is the end of round number two, and the last answer is the Philadelphia University Rams. The Rams of Philadelphia University that completes round two. Sigourney doing the tallying out there. Sigourney, what is our score right now? Well, the Success Schools has 40 points on the board, while the ladies came back, and they have 70 points on the board. Uh oh so to pick you up, round three is next right here on the Philly Feud live from Play 2, Tickies and Peach. Yeah. Welcome back to the Philly Feud. We're here at Play 2, Tickies and Peach. And we've got the team success against the pick you ups. There they are. Team success versus the pick you ups. It is time now for round three. Before we start round three, Sigourney, what is our score? Well, Success Schools has 40 points on the board, while the pick you ups certainly picked it up and have 70 points on the board. They are leading. All right, the pick you ups are in the lead. We have now question three. Let's bring our third contestant. It's Pam from the pick you ups, and it is Steve from the Success Schools. Oh. All right, you guys, are you ready? We pulled many people in Delaware Valley. Seven answers to this question. If, if you know the first one, you want to buzz in first, please do. The question is, name an occasion you'd go out for drinks. All right, Pam? Birthday. Birthday. Show me birthday. It is the number two answer on the board. All right. You guys control the board, Pam. Go ahead. Name an occasion uh, we asked Philadelphians that they would go out for drinks. Anniversary. Anniversary. Show me an anniversary. That's number seven on the board. All right. You got anniversary, all right? What Philadelphia, what, where were they like to go out for drinks? After what occasion, Philadelphians? They're, we're kind of weird, but go ahead. Graduation. Graduation to go out after drinks. Well, of course, that would be college graduation, that high school true. graduation. Yeah. He'd be too young to drink, right? Uh, and it's not on the board. Sorry about that, Pam. All right, let's move over. Bachelor party. Bachelor party. Show me bachelor party. Correct. That's number seven on the board. Promotion. A promotion, a job promotion. Job promotion a yeah. job promotion. Show me job promotion. Yes, that's number five. Job success is correct. All right, Steve, keep rolling. Divorce. A, a, a divorce. <laughs> you, you would, except you don't have any money left. All right. Show me divorce. That's in there, not on the board. Sorry, no divorce. Well, I'm thinking what we do most of the time, happy hour after work. Happy hour after work. It is the number one answer on the board. All right, Rosetta, keep going. Where the Philadelphians uh, occasion that they go for drinks? Baptisms. Baptisms. <laughs> sure, just ply the baby with some beer. No, not on the board. Baptism is not on the board. We have two answers left, Michael. Can you handle them? Tailgating. Tailgating. That's number three on the board. Sporting event is correct. All right, one more left, Mike. Date night. Date night. Show me date night. No, that's not on the board. Nobody's going out for dates. All right, Margaret. You got one answer left on the board. What is it? Bad day at work. A bad day at work. Show me a bad day at work. Not on the board. All right. The final answer was number four, holiday. You go out on a holiday. So there it is. That, is, that completes round number three. Sigourney, what score do we have? The pick you ups are still in the lead with 100 points, but our boys on the success schools, they have 70 points on the board. It's not over. All righty. We're coming back for round four. Can the pick you ups hold on right here and win the Philly Feud? We're live. Right here, play two, Chickies and Peach back after this. Oh yeah, welcome back. We're here at play two, Chickies and Peach. We go into round four. Let's bring up our fourth contestant, Rosetta, come on up. Michael, come on up. 
Success Schools trails by 30. We have taken, we have gotten this poll uh, to, from CampusPhilly.com. Other than stoop and row homes, what are words you should know how to say to talk like a local? Rosetta. Schuylkill. Schuylkill. Show me Schuylkill. The number one answer on the board, Schuylkill. All right, Rosetta. You control the board now. Yo. Yo. Show me yo. Not on the board. Yo is not on the board. All right, we are move over to Michael. All right, Michael, what do you got? Young Bull. What was that? Young Bull. Young Bull. <laughs> young Bull? Young Bull. Show me Young Bull. <laughs> That's not on the board. All right, Margaret. According to CampusPhilly.com, other than stupid row homes, what are the words you should know how to say you talk like a local? Hoagie. Hoagie. Show me Hoagie. Yes, the number three. What are the words you should know how to say to talk like a local? Water. Show me water, W-O-D-L. Oh, yeah, it's number two on the board. Cheese steak. Cheese steak. Wait. 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 All right, all right, all right. So cheese steak what? Whiz. Whiz. Uh, you know, our, our judges say we're going to give it to her. It's whiz wit. Whiz wit is the real correct answer. The F-bomb. The <laughs> Some kind of bomb, she said. No, it's not on the board. All right, Margaret. Over there. Over there. Over there. Show me over there. Uh, not there, by the way. All right, we move over to Mary. Okay, Mary, what other words do you know how to say to talk like a local? There are three on the board, Mary. How about the L? How about the L? Show me the L. Yes, number seven on the board is the L. All right, Mary, what else do you have? My stars? No. <laughs> um, this could be yo, yo, yo. All right, Mary, you're out. Let's move over to Terrence. <laughs> All right, Terrence, what other words you should know how to say to talk like a local? How about roast beef? Roast beef? <laughs> is, is, is that from the young... Wait, wait, wait. The roast beef is from the young bull, right? No, roast beef's not on the list. Sorry about that, Terrence. All right, we move over to Pam. Pam, what do you have? Well, I'm going to say I'm going down the shore. Down the shore. Oh, yeah. Down the shore is on the board. There is yeah. one left. There is one left, Pam. Can you get it? Um, uh, Philly pretzels. How about Philly pretzels? Oh, no. How about not? <laughs> Philly pretzels not on the list. All right, Steve, your last chance for your squad. There's one answer on the board. What other words you should know how to say to talk like a local other than the ones on the board? John. John? Yeah. John. John. Oh, yeah. as if, oh, that John. Yeah, yeah that John. Oh, that John. No, that John's not up there. Sorry about that. The last remaining answer on the board is Jimmy's. Jimmy's. Yeah, we say Jimmy's here in Philadelphia instead of sprinkles. There's Jimmy's on that coarse frozen ice cream there. All righty. Sigourney, what is the score out there? Well, the gentlemen on the success schools have 70 points on the board, while the ladies with the you pick you ups have 160 points. All right, it's 160 to 70. But coming up, the Miller Lightning Round, a team behind will have the chance to come back with a potential 200 points. You don't want to miss it. Come right back here. We're live at Play Two, Chickies and Peace, the Lightning Round next on the Philly Feud. Back to the Philly Feud, we're here at Play Two Chickens and Beats. It's time to ask the crowd, what time is the crowd? It's Miller time! Oh yeah, it is Miller time, and that means it's time for the Miller Lightning Round. This round will determine the winner of the Philly Feud, who will receive the Miller Light Prize Packs. Your designated player will have one minute to give your team clues about 10 items related to Philadelphia. You cannot say any part of the name, place, or thing. Each correct response is worth 20 points. All right, here we go. There are your cards right there, Michael. Go! Eagles receiver. Sean Jackson. Guy who had all that crazy money, I played basketball, doesn't even play. This year, he didn't even play. Got all that Bynum. extra by him. Uh, pass. 
Um, the name of the bridges. Ben Franklin, okay, Betsy Ross. Ross. Right now, it's, it's not, it's not. Ben Franklin Parkway. No, the uh, same thing with that, with Walt Whitman. No, we go on class trips there. Ben Franklin Institute. Boom. Um, <laughs> Delaware Ave, it's on the right of Delaware Ave. What do they call that? Where the, you go to see the boats. What do they call that area? That's what? No, it's, uh, you gotta be Columbus. kidding me. Packer Ave? No, come on. <laughs> yeah, Packer Ave. <laughs> okay, um, Will Smith. Jay Pickett. What, what was he? What West was the show? Overbrook what High. was the show he West did? Out? Thank you. <laughs> uh, Andy Reid uses a what? A mustache. All right, time's up. Time's up. All righty, there you go. Time is up, Michael. How many did they get, Sigourney? They got four correct, so they are at 150 points. All right, 150 points. So the girls automatically win. The girls don't have to go through the lightning round. Oh, my God. It's the first time this has ever happened. We have filled up your theme gift bags for all contestants. Provided by the Greater Philadelphia Tourism and Marketing Corporation, visit Philly.com. And the winners get the Miller Lite prize packs provided by Miller Lite, reminding you that it's Miller time. And gift cards from Chickies and Pete's, voted the number one sports bar in North America. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you next time. We search for who knows most about Philadelphia right here on the Philly Feud. See you next time. Promotional consideration for Philly Feud provided by Parks Casino, the number one casino in Pennsylvania, Ventresca Limited, the men's store in Doylestown, and Greater Philadelphia Tourism. Visit online at visitphilly.com.